Hey guys, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've been on here. Kind of give you guys an update. Um, kind of more for just the documentation than really anything. But in case anybody was curious, um, I am uh, have been dealing with some things that have... Um, I have come to realize their mental blocks that are keeping me from doing what I need to do to become healthier. And, um, I've, cause I've started 75 hard so many times and there's a whole big old group of people that were starting on the first and I decided to go ahead and start on the first and I was all excited walking out in the snow uh, going out and working, uh, lifting weights again. Um, I had to quit because, um, I had restarted four times in 10 days. So, uh, talking with some people and one of those being my advisor from first form, um, we've decided that I need to fix the things that are keeping me from hitting my goals. And, um, I like my sister's always kind of been like my counselor, the person that I can talk to about anything. And after talking with her on Sunday, I got some stuff out that really needed to be get off my chest. And, um, I feel a lot better now that things are said and things are out instead of it being inside. Um, and that's something that I encourage everyone to do. Don't just hold things inside. And I'm really, really bad about that. So I'm trying to like not be that way anymore. So um, even if it's just talking to your dog or your cat, just get it out, out in the open. It makes it real instead of like something that has happened to me whenever I was younger have the um, issues of like most things it's very easy for me to lay down at God's feet and be like here you take it because I don't want it <laughs> and I'm always my I have an easy way for me it's easy most of the time because I don't like the stress and Jesus said, give everything to him. So, like, that's what I do. I'm like, Jesus, I can't do this. This is, this is it's your turn to do this. It's your turn. So, um, I, uh, this particular situation. Now, the person that this involved, I have forgiven them. But the situation still, ling I mean, it's always in the back of my head. And that's the one thing that it seems like I lay it down at God's feet and then I like pick it right back up again. I'll lay it down at his feet and then I pick it right back up again. And it's made it very hard for me to hit the goals that I want to hit and to get um, this eating situation under control. So... With that being said, I am reining in my food right now, um, trying to keep somewhat active, doing something every day. Um, my goal was to walk every day during uh, this year, but I've already like missed two days of walking. But that's because it was like negative 29 degrees or negative 29 wind chill here. And I was like, it ain't happening. So I did like some stretching and stuff at home. So, but my nose just itches like a, anyway, but, um, I'm cutting everything out. I mean, strictly just some meat, um, and some sauces. Uh, oh, and just so you guys know, like, I got to show y'all this sauce. This sauce is killer on everything. It's freaking game changer. South eat Southwest hot mustard. And to be honest, it's not really that hot. It's enough to give you a little bit of spice, but that's it. 
but that is good. If, if you're, <clears throat> oh my goodness, hold on just a second. Yes, I'm still trying to get my gallon of water in every day, but that sauce, if you're eating it, ground beef and like rice and broccoli or pretty much anything because I use it on everything. Literally everything that I eat has that sauce on it. It's a game changer. It's so good. But like I was saying, um, I'm not going to say I'm going completely carnivore right now, but I'm just trying to clean up a lot of my food and starting from you know just getting rid of everything that is processed and just going straight with one thing for a couple of weeks and then I will slowly incorporate other things just because if my body has an adverse reaction to it and my body doesn't deal with it well I want to eliminate eliminate that in my diet so with that being said with the water that y'all just saw. Um, and this was one of uh, a friend that I had um, that works at S2. We were talking and they told me that if I wanted to still do the things that are required in 75 hard without actually putting it in the box of 75 hard, I could do that. That way there's not as much stress on me to get everything done. And so, like, if I don't drink all of my gallon of water, it's not a big deal. If I only read a few pages and not all the 10 pages, it's not a big deal. One workout instead of two, that's good. At least there's some movement getting done. But not a big deal if you don't get them both in. So... That's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do the things that I can control the things that I can, because with me, it's very easy for me to, um, like I, whenever I start something, I like to go 100% boom, all in. And if I don't do it the way I think I should to my, what I think is my perfection or the perfect way of doing said whatever. Like everything is all like my whole world just falls apart. And then I throw in the towel and I'm like, screw that. And I'm eating this and that and the other. And I'm overeating, binge eating. Like the list goes on and on and on. So um, doing what I can. When I got weighed at Supplement Superstore last friday i weighed in at 236 pounds 236 pounds um the highest my weight's ever been is 245 and that's cutting it close um i've never wanted to even get out of the 220s but given the fact that i am getting to the age of starting perimenopause and the like and whatever which is a possibility that I am already there because the brain fog is setting in, the uh, hot flashes, the night sweats, um, having trouble sleeping sometimes. Um, that's not help because that's when you start to have weight gain. Like you could be doing everything right and just because your hormones are out of whack can make you gain weight. So... Um, through the last first form challenge, the winter challenge, winter, sorry, I got a winter challenge. Um, I could not get under 225 and it just seemed like my weight was slowly going up and that made me frustrated. And to be honest, I think I really threw in the towel the last week maybe two weeks of the challenge. And so mm, a month is four weeks. So like the last six weeks has been kind of like a poop shoot. Um, so I went to Aldi. I got the meats that I needed for the week. 
Um, I've been doing pretty good. I did have some vegetables, um, which is, I don't, how do I, I'm not doing like pre-packaged stuff. Like I'm doing fresh like potatoes, which is really the only thing I've had. Well, I take that back. I did have some pickles, but I like pickles. So, um, but just kind of giving you guys an update and just to let you guys know, like, I know people are struggling and like, I don't understand, like, cause I know I can do it. I've done it before. And I think whenever, um, it, um, I have to start over with the 75 hard, it really messes with my head and that doesn't help cause that makes everything worse. But just to, um, get back to that place where I can know I'm going to do and can do what I need to do. So I'm going to be doing, spending a lot more time in my word, praying because ain't nobody going to fix what's going on except for me and Jesus. So, um, kind of, is less amount of stress on me as possible right now is kind of like what I'm going for. So, um, I don't know when my next video is going to be. Um, I'm going to try, I would like to try to get one video out a week. We're going to try. I can't promise anything, but if you've stuck around this long, thank you. And I appreciate it. If you like the video, please like the video. If you did not like it, hit the thumbs down. I, you know, let me know in the comments why. Leave me a good comment. Leave me, I don't know, an emoji of a steak. Um, something. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking around. And I love each one of you guys. Thanks.